Filming from GenCon 2019, one of the most exciting things that I've seen around is the booth of Funko that now, well, as you may have heard, they entered the wonderful, beautiful, colorful world of gaming. And what they're presenting here is a game called Funkoverse Strategy Game that employs the Funko figures that we all love in a strategy board game kind of situation. And Lindsay has been kind enough to agree to tell us a little bit about this new release. Yeah, for sure. So this is a Funkover strategy game. This is the first game from Funko Games to launch, uh, made by Prospero Hall, the game studio behind Disney Villainous, Horrified, Just, Choose Your Own Adventures. You get the idea. Ah, uh, so, sure do. Yeah, so Funkover strategy game. Uh, what we have is a game for two to four players. It takes 20 to 60 minutes to play, and it utilizes, like you said, your favorite pops. Uh, from all your different fandoms around. In the game, you are competing for points. There's different ways to go about um, achieving those points. You can achieve those points by moving around the game board, interacting with certain spaces, picking up those points. You can also gain points in Funkoverse by going up head to head with your rival and then trying to mm -hmm. first knock them down and then knock them out of the game oh, to also gaming. gain points. Exactly. I love war gaming. Yep. So every single character in Funkoverse can do the same basic actions. They can all move, they can challenge, they can assist, interact, and rally. In addition to that, each character in Funkoverse has abilities that are unique to them, and they can use those abilities to also engage in um, challenges to their rivals. Uh huh. So during a turn, you have a number of actions that you can choose from that list? Exactly. So you can take two actions every turn, and they can either be a basic action or they can be one of your special actions. As long as you have an ability token available in your ability token pool, you can use that action. So for example, if Catwoman, right here, wanted to use her cartwheel, she would first have to make sure that she has an ability token that matches oh, the cartwheel action. Then she's going to take that ability token, put it on the two of her cooldown track, and then Catwoman's gonna take that action, which is move four. And she can only do that once per turn. She's gonna go, you know, one, two, three, four. Can she move diagonally? You can move diagonally as long as you have line of sight. Line of sight means you're able to see into the center of the square you are trying to go to from the center of the square you are currently standing. That makes sense. Yep. Um, and then everything on your cooldown track, after all the characters have gone, everything on your cooldown track is going to shift down one. Oh, I like that. Anything that shifts off the cooldown track will return to play, characters will return to the starting area on the game boards, ability tokens will return to your ability token pool. The higher the cost on the ability, the more powerful it is in the game. Excellent. And so all of these games share the same system, but people can choose different games so with different characters and scenarios, and they're also contained, right? Like, I see the Harry Potter, small Harry Potter, Rick and Morty, Golden Girls. Exactly. So what I'm looking at here, what I'm showing you here is our Funkoverse DC Comics 101, which contains uh, Catwoman and Robin. Now, if you have the other DC Comics Funkoverse set, which contains Batman, Batgirl, Harley Quinn, and Joker, you'll be able to take those characters and play them on the game board that you get Excellent. with uh, Robin and Catwoman. So there's a degree of mixing and matching. Totally. And the game is uh, available starting October 1st. You can pre-order the game now at Target, at GameStop, and at Walmart.com. Uh, $24.99 for the two-figure pack and $39.99 for the four-figure pack. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Yeah, you're welcome. It was great talking to you. Bye.